There are tons of theories about what type of multiverse we actually live in. Some of these theories date back to ancient Greece. As you guys probably know, the multiverse is the idea that there are multiple universes that aren't visible to us, but coexist with our universe. Two ancient Greek schools of thought had their own theories about multiverse. Hey class, we are going to start with one of the first early theories of the universe, the atomists. One of the ancient Greek schools of thoughts believed that everything is made up of tiny individual particles called atoms. Additionally, they thought that these atoms accidentally collided with each other, producing the creation of the universe we have today. If atoms kept colliding, thousands of universes would be created, though these other universes were not as perfect as ours. There are so many different theories of what multiverses look like and how they form. Max Tegma is a Swedish-American physicist, and he organized these theories into four levels. Let's start with level one. Level one includes universes with the same rules of physics that we have in our universe. They exist beyond our visible horizon. It is the most acceptable to people since most humans believe that there are other life forms beyond what is visible to us. This level includes parallel universes and identical versions of ourselves 10 to the 10 to the 29 meters away. Since our universe is infinite, many people believe that somewhere far away from our planet, there are other planets and other possible life forms, which is also why people believe that aliens exist. We are currently jumping from universe to universe, and as you can see, the laws of physics are the same. For example, there is gravity in each of these universes. The Big Bang creates other post-inflation bubbles. These bubbles are an effect of chaotic inflationary theory of cosmology. This theory claims that quantum inflections after the Big Bang created inaccessible pockets of space, each being its own universe. Unlike level 1 universes, these universes have a chance to have other dimensions such as a fourth dimension. Also, they might have different particles that are dimensional. This was an experiment in 2016 in Antarctica, conducted by Peter Gorham and his team, which is in which a giant balloon with antennas floated over the landscape to find evidence of high energy particles from outer space. This team was able to find a sign of high energy particles but is coming from the ground and not outer space. High energy particles come from cosmic waves, commonly from the sun or possible supernovas. Physicists suggested laws of physics that might explain this phenomenon but it was all ruled out. The scenario seemed impossible for our universe. To explain how it's possible for particles to be exploding from the ground, physicists and cosmologists would have to assume that they're in another universe that is opposite of ours. What is positive in this universe is opposite in a parallel universe. This shows proof that there is a parallel universe out there that is opposite of ours, so their positive is our negative. The third level of the multiverse includes the many worlds of quantum physics. In this level, other universes are constantly made with every choice made on Earth. There are many worlds in our universe with the same people but different decisions and choice, leading to different outcomes. This level includes Hugh Everett's many worlds theory. Many to prove this idea that every possibility is happening all at once, we need to look at Schrodinger's cat thought theory. The scenario includes a cat, a flask of poison, and a radioactive source all encased in the same box. If the atom decays and radioactivity occurs, it will shatter the glass, releasing the poison that kills the cat. If the atom doesn't decay, the cat lives. Now stand there and watch what happens if the atom decays. Cat died. Now let's do it again, see what happens if it doesn't decay. The cat lives. Now, I will close the box. I will do the same thing, but you do not know what happens. 
so a cat is both dead and alive simultaneously. This means that the atom starts in a combined state of going to decay and not going to decay. If there is no conscious observer present, the whole system stays as a combination of two possibilities. This creates an idea that all possibilities are carried out. We are going to go over an example of Everett Hughes' many words today. Let's say you pick a flower on the way home and decide to give it to your girl. This causes her to think you're nice and leave their future together with their dog. Now if we go back and do this again, but this time you decide not to pick the flower. And because you didn't pick the flower, your girl doesn't like you. This causes you to live alone and die by yourself. Both of these scenarios coexist in parallel universes. Many world theories says every possibility is happening at once, and each choice you make is another parallel universe being made. There could even be a universe where a world looks like this. Hey class, today we'll be learning about the multiverse. You know, that bald girl with superpowers and that blonde guy without front teeth. What? Stranger Things. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? That's so funny. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hey class, today we'll be learning about the multiverse. You know, that bald girl with superpowers and the blonde guy without front teeth. What? Stranger Things. Hmm. Oh, this must be the right universe. In the fourth level of the multiverse, the fundamental laws of nature can vary completely. This leads to completely incomprehensible universes. This chaos could be part of this multiverse. In conclusion, there are many theories of the multiverse, and many people believe it exists. Although, there's a lot still unknown, and we don't know for sure that it exists.